Hey, it's Richard with PreSonus, and I want to show you an exciting workflow built into Universal Control. It allows remote operation of a Series 3 mixer with low latency audio monitoring from anywhere in the world. It's called Metro, and I'm here to help you get it set up. You'll need a Series 3 mixer with firmware 2.7 or higher attached via USB to a computer connected to the internet running Universal Control 4.2 or higher. We'll call this one the host computer. You'll need another computer running UC 4.2 or higher that is also connected to the internet, and we'll call that one the client computer. The client computer's internal speakers can be used for monitoring, but for more full range sound, you can use the headphone out. For even better sound, we suggest using an interface and studio monitors. Additionally, if you want the ability to communicate directly to the talent located at the host facility, you can also connect a microphone into your interface and use it as a talkback mic routed to the talent's monitor mixes. Two important things to consider. PreSonus Mixer users know all about Universal Control, but if you don't already have it, you can download it from our website. Also, both host and client each need their own MyPreSonus account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. Let's take a look at how that's done. On any web-enabled computer, go online and navigate to my.presonus.com and follow the on-screen prompts to create your account. Once both accounts are set up, either account holder can go to the upper right corner and click on the menu icon, then click Metro. On the next page, navigate to the left side of the screen, click the Add button, and enter the email address of any account holder with which you want to connect. The other user will get an email notification, but if they hit refresh, they can see the invitation, accept it, and after you both refresh, your new contact will display in the list on the left. Both of you can now launch Universal Control, click the menu icon in the upper left corner, and sign in. The next step is to enable remote access on both sides. Once clicked, you'll see your list of active connections. The computer signed in to the host's account that has the mixer connected to it will show up with a green bar to the right of it. The client clicks on that icon and the host gets a notification that the client is requesting to connect. Once the host agrees, the client will see the Studio Live Series 3 mixer connected to the host's computer. Now that host and client are connected, the host's job is basically done. The client can now set up their monitoring, set permissions on the host's mixer, and remotely operate it, just as he or she would in a local instance of Universal Control. Let's take a look at that process. To set up the client's playback device, navigate to the right side of the screen and click the gear icon. Select an interface, playback stream to use for monitoring, and which send stream to use for talkback to the host's mixer's talkback channel. The client can now click on the picture of the host's mixer in the bottom window. Depending on permissions granted to the last client logged in, the screen may be grayed out. If that happens, click the gear icon in the upper right corner, enter the access code, and claim FOH control of the host's mixer. Also, any permissions can be granted or ended from the host computer. Once the session is over, either the host or client can close the mixer window and select the user icon at the top right of the screen next to the connection time indicator, confirm the end of the connection, and the host's mixer will disappear from the client's UC window. Now that we've covered how to get in and out of the application, let's take a look at a couple of features and differences that are unique to Metro and its functions. To add additional users for remote access for other occasions, click the Manage Connections button. That will take you back to the Metro page online where you can repeat the process of requesting more connections. To see the device and stream health statistics, click the menu icon and go to Settings. Then click UC Metro Streaming Statistics. This will give you all of the data about your session so you can monitor all of your info, including stream health and latency. By default, Metro automatically lets the client hear the host's main mix. 
For a broadcast stream scenario where the main mix is being used by an engineer in a live venue, the client will obviously use an aux mix for the stream. Just as you would in UC connected to a local device, select a mix, make it stereo if you prefer, but to monitor it, you'll need to solo the mix bus you're using. As you can imagine, from broadcast to training to troubleshooting, Metro changes the game on so many levels. And best of all, it's completely free. As long as the host facility has a Studio Live Series 3 mixer, you can enjoy all the benefits that this truly revolutionary remote mixing application has to offer. For more information, go to presonus.com or check us out on YouTube. Hey, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.